The future of gaming. How many people watching this have heard the term play to earn? Anyone? Yeah? How about NFTs or Web3? Honestly, you'd probably be much better off not knowing what these things are because they're total garbage contributing. These things inspire great confidence in me when I hear someone speak about how great it's gonna be. Nothing of positive value to society right now. But these terms get really popular, or rather got really popular for a couple years during the crypto boom of 2020. And I'm pretty sure they're about to circle back around and get much more popular again, sadly. See, gaming has become the largest entertainment medium on Earth by far, and crypto bros, hell-bent on shoehorning their stupid little tokens into whatever industry they can possibly infect, have decided that blockchain will make gaming better, and if- Of course it will. Like how the monkeys are gonna make you rich. Look at all these billionaires now with their monkey JPEGs. <laughs> what are the monkey JPEGs, by the way, now? Less than a thousand each? Remember how people mortgaged their houses and wrote Reddit posts about my wife doesn't understand the value of me buying a Yacht Ape Monkey Club JPEG? <laughs> Remember though? Man, those were good times. Those were good times. FTs are the next evolution of ownership and crypto is the future of gaming. Just so you can see I'm not exaggerating on all this, here's a few examples. Why the future of gaming is built on blockchain by- Because the person who owns this plans on making money with it, obviously. By the Algorand Foundation. How blockchain gaming is redefining the gaming industry, published over on Hedera. Play to earn- Dude, this is why we don't take absolutely any journalists seriously nowadays, okay? Man, this is sad. ...games revolutionizing the gaming industry with blockchain. That one's from Solulab. And blockchain revolutionizing the games industry from LCX, published in February of this very year. It's funny because crypto bros are trying as hard as they possibly can to legitimize the technology and catalyze wider adoption for video games. Well, of course they are. They made a stupid investment that has probably lost 99% of its value. And now they're pretty desperate to actually make some money back. But, uh, uh, well, it's not going particularly well. Now, if you listen to what they write about, you could be forgiven for thinking it is. Quote, Blockchain technology is rapidly changing the gaming industry, offering unprecedented levels of transparency. Remember when Ubisoft wanted to adopt NFTs because money, money? Security and user engagement. With the use of decentralized systems, gamers and developers alike are able to leverage the benefits of blockchain to create a more immersive and decentralized gaming experience, end quote. But if you spend some time actually playing these products, well, that's what we're going to do today. Ooh. What makes all this even more hilarious, if that were even possible, is that to play these blockchain games, you mostly have to use the Epic Games storefront. And Epic Games, rather Tim Sweeney, the founder, has said, quote, will have a quality standard that doesn't accept crappy games. We'll accept reasonably good quality games of any scale, whether small indie games to huge- Reasonably good. Okay, that, that, that is a stretch term right there. Huge AAA games, end quote. That's a very compelling picture, isn't it? Like, really, it is. Blockchain is revolutionizing gaming with unprecedented levels of user engagement and while Steam decided- Well, if you're a mouth breather who has no idea about anything and just, you know, buys in into the first thing that someone tells you, I mean, yeah, then it probably sounds really good. ...to ban NFT and crypto games from their platform entirely, Epic decided to accept them while stating that they intend to have a quality standard which doesn't accept crappy games. Just keep that in mind for the rest of the video. So where am I going with this? Well, the answer to that question is very simple. If blockchain is the future of gaming, if it's revolutionizing the industry, and if the Epic Game Store, with its high standard of quality, is the biggest marketplace where I can experience that glorious future, what reason could I possibly give for not downloading and playing some of these groundbreaking entertainment products? So that's what I did. Wait, they cost money? I logged into Epic Games, searched for NFT or blockchain, and started downloading. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed is that there's no results here other than free. It doesn't Good. look like any of these <laughs> games are ever paid products. They're all free to play, which is... Well, yeah, that's how they suck you in. Good, maybe? I guess we're going to find out. 
The first one I just dude, look at this. I'm playing a vacant. Don't know about you boys, but I am playing a vacant. I decided to grab was called Grit. Grit, according to a game review done on a website called Play to Earn. Game. Wait, was this a cyberpunk ripoff we just saw? Yep, kind of looks like it. Nice. Done on a website called PlayToEarnGames.com is a triple A plus NFT nice. Wild West Battle Royale. Which... Hey, maybe Ubisoft was not the first quadruple A game. Maybe it was great. Kind of sounds pretty cool. Well, I downloaded the game, installed it, booted it up. This already looks bad, by the way. And you can't play. The servers don't work. Oh, no. The website says coming in 2023, even though it's 2024 now. The Discord invite link is broken. NFT bros have a different understanding of time. Give it, be patient. The Twitter account hasn't posted anything since last year. And I finally found a Reddit thread from eight months ago where the servers seemed to be playable then, at least. But oh, boy. there was no one online. The person played alone in a battle royale for 20 minutes and then signed off because not a single other person match made into their game. What a great start. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not fair. It's just one example. There's always going to be exceptions to the high quality standards of Epic Games and the technology really is revolutionary, but not every I'm game sure. can be amazing. Give it another chance. And yes, you're right. I shouldn't judge them all by the failures of just one. So off I went on this journey. The next one I clicked on was called Ape Squad, which seemed to Ooh. be, I don't know, have some connection maybe to the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection. Probably. Collection, which was being shilled by a bunch of celebrities. So good, maybe, possibly. Let's find out. No, we can't find out. This one isn't playable either. I have no information as to why. I didn't feel like doing all the research. And I just couldn't get into the game. And they misspelled the word password on the main <laughs> login screen. Just excellent stuff here. Really, really strong start. Feeling slightly defeated, but not ready to give up quite yet, I kept going and clicked on a game called Brawlers. I was starting to get a little bit annoyed by this point because all of this stupid blockchain shit requires you to make additional Oh yeah, this looks nice. ...accounts in order to play. You can't just do it through Epic Games, sadly. And they have all these hoops to jump through because they're trying to get your money from your wallet. But after getting things set up and logging in... Why would you need a promo code for a free game? I finally found one I could actually start. Well, did I though? See, yes, I could log in and peruse this rudimentary game menu, but when I tried to play a ranked match, that is a match against another human opponent, the timer would get to about a minute and 30 seconds every single time, and then just kick me out of the queue. Here I was on title number three. That's pretty good. Exploring the future of gaming on a storefront where they don't accept crappy games, and yet I was three for three with unplayable garbage. I did eventually switch over and play one round of this Brawlers game against the computer, but... Wow, this looks good. You look at this in the background right now and tell me whether or not it's the future of the industry. What, the hell? what the hell is this? A brawling game made with cards? Well, I guess that's the only way you can really put the NFTs to work. Let me hear it. I'm super curious. At this point, I was getting very annoyed, so I figured why not try something single player and that way you don't need to have opponents and you can experience these revolutionary games just for yourself. I scrolled around and landed on a game called Blight's Wrath, developed by Equilibrium Games, which is a single player fantasy RPG. Excellent. Well, okay. I downloaded the game, launched it, jumped into the world, and yes, I could play. The level of excitement I felt, you just can't even understand. I was thrilled to now- Bruh, bruh. The graphics. Understand? I They're glitching already. I was thrilled to now experience the future of video games and immerse myself in this fantastic world. Yeah. The dialogue doesn't work. It was broken. The control scheme is the worst thing I've ever played with. You can just infinitely run around on the bottom of the ocean because they didn't pro- That's fine. Gram barriers or swimming or basic physics of any kind. That's fine. And and then the game broke. I couldn't progress the main quest line anymore. Something was off or wrecked. I don't know. And I got sick of wasting my time. Great stuff. Okay, you know what this game is? This is this is a game where uh, the clearly obvious NFT scammers decided, hmm, every other NFT scam game creator is making not a playable game. How about we just do, a, you know, more of a Kickstarter scam type of approach? And there you go. Something I should add here, the developers for this game are now, like, making or talking about an MMO, like a massive multiplayer online game, 
which they have said is basically World of Warcraft on a PvP-enabled server. The devs... I can't even... The devs that made this right here have said that there's an MMO they're working on that is basically World of Warcraft. Nice. Oh, and the marketplace for Blight's Wrath, which is supposed to be like the selling point for the entire concept of NFT and blockchain integration in video games, just doesn't work. You look at this game and tell me with a straight face that blockchain is the future of gaming and that the Epic Game Store has quality standards for what they're willing to allow on the platform. For real. Epic Games does Fortnite. Obviously, they don't really exactly care a lot about the consumers. Anyone? Does anyone want to give it a shot? Like any of you crypto enthusiasts out there, you want to type something out in the comment section? No? Yes? Come on, give it a shot. Still, what are the odds that this could keep going? Slim, right? Next was a game called Nine Lives. I figured it can't get worse, so let's just keep going. It probably And can. this one is supposedly an RPG that focuses on 1v1 combat. Ooh. Really stunning quality here. The thing that got me though, after being great. Oh, 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 this is, this, this looks not that bad, but I'm pretty sure at least the leaf right here is a genetic asset. The thing that got me though, after being grateful that I could even log into it and it has any gameplay to experience at all. The thing that really got me was, you know how I just said the control scheme is the worst thing I ever played with the previous game, right? I described the control scheme of that one as the worst. No. Yeah. This one beats it by a mile. See, it turns out they didn't program in diagonal movement. You can only go left. I mean, who needs diagonal movement? What are you, some kind of elitist? Or right, forward, or back on a 90 degree X, Y axis. You can't strafe diagonally at all, which means that you have a permadeath 1v1 combat game with no players, by the way, not a single one. I didn't counter anyone during the entire play session where you don't even have fluid control of your character. This is where I started to realize, well, now, wait a second, it's all bullshit. I'm just kidding, I knew this the entire time. But I'm not joking when I tell you that the quality of Web3 video games is way worse than I expected going in. The last one I decided to try, because I was getting very sick of this, to be honest, was called Red Chaos, thinking there's no oh, possible <laughs> way it can be worse than what I played so far. And thankfully... I finally got one game that I could play a match in and have at least a tiny bit of fun that functioned on a very basic level. Red Chaos is just a generic arena shooting game. The controls are bad, the hit registration is bad, the reticle bloom is absurd, but hey, I logged in, I found a match, I led the team, I had the most kills, I got, even got multi-kills, and at the very least, this was a functional video game that could be played. That being said, nothing about this is unique whatsoever. There are hundreds, more like thousands of better options out there that have nothing to do with blockchain. Half of those options are also free, which counters the only actual thing that this game might have had going for it. And the bare bones nature of the title is impossible to ignore. Sure, you can say early development or work in progress, but like, this is such a basic thing. There's no way that this product will ever define anything about video games. And sure, it looks great when you compare it to everything else I played before it, but as soon as you jump out of the crypto... I mean, it does look better than everything else, but everything else was such a goddamn low bar. I mean, just finding something that works is honestly a gift, it feels like at this point. I mean, look at this, come on. After failure, 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 when you were pissed that you can't even play anything, uh, you would be pretty excited to play this. Even though if you actually, you know, are a normal person, you played something normal and you see this, you're like, oh my god, what is this garbage? A pond where most of the competing fish are just completely dead anyway, it has no chance of surviving, let alone thriving, because it's mediocre at absolute best. Bottom line, we've been hearing over and over and over for years that crypto and blockchain are the future of gaming. Web3 and play to earn will... It doesn't look like the hits even register properly, honestly, so yeah. Revolutionize the industry. In particular, Ubisoft seems to be embracing some of those concepts. And gamers need to get with the times because there's no stopping the train now that it left the station. That's just wrong. Ubisoft can embrace the beard on the, you know, girl from Horizon Zero Dawn. That's what they can do. Crypto games are pretty much all garbage. They contain nothing new. They have zero functionality that wasn't already widely available long before blockchain even existed. And what's worse, they don't even measure up to the most Maybe these are bots. basic standard of quality because they're scams. They're trend hopping homunculus creations whose only purpose is to get people to speculate on digital assets 
that won't even be around a couple years later. Epic Games, the store that has quality standards, yeah, Epic Games is now distributing unplayable crypto trash because none of this is the future, none of it is revolutionary, and pretty much all of it is entirely worthless. That's my take on crypto in gaming, and I would love to be proven wrong, okay? I would love for the industry to be advanced and revolutionized by- It's really good that this game. <laughs> by any concept out there, but it's probably never gonna happen. Most people who have anything to do with crypto want free money. That's like their MO for integrating themselves with the industry. I mean, I do nothing with crypto, but I also want free money if we're being completely honest. At all. But free money doesn't exist. The closest thing I can find is stuff like Honey Gain, which uses a portion of your internet connection to run price comparisons and things like that. And if you put it on a few devices, you can maybe make enough to cover like streaming subscriptions every month, which is cool by letting it run in the background or something like that. But no video game is ever gonna let you log in, play, and then get rich because you earn tokens that are somehow worth tons of money. It's just not gonna happen. Mm. I'll put a link to Honey Gain down below, by the way. I've used it myself for years. This video is not sponsored by them. It's just me talking about it. It's not a lot of money, but it pays you reliably per device. Yeah, uh, one way to easy, easily understand if something is a scam is the good old same old classic never changes. Does it offer you way too much money? Yes, then it's probably a scam. Anything, dude, anyone who can, tells you they can double your money, why wouldn't do they, they they not do it themselves? You know you know how little you need of doubling money, honestly, to become a billionaire. You you start with one, you double it. That's two, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, six, uh, sixty-two, one hundred twenty, uh, one hundred twenty-eight, two hundred sixty, one hundred twenty-eight, two uh, two hundred sixty, uh, fifty-six. You know, and so on and so on and so on. You know how fast you can become a billionaire if someone can effectively double your money constantly? I mean, if someone actually knew this, knew how to do this constantly without any risk or whatever, they would probably be eliminated. It would be the most well-guarded secret in the universe because that would literally break the world. And... And you have these people who constantly say doubling money. That's like trusting a money doubler in RuneScape, okay? It's probably not going to end well. Anyway, that was Upper Echelon Games. I mean, Upper Echelon, just Upper Echelon. This was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.